Oh, coffee time. Did you guys think that that was gonna be the last storm of the year? It is currently Saturday right now. Can somebody uh, answer me? How many liters is this fuel tank? 2019 Duramax. How many liters is it? Because I feel like with 129, almost 130 liters I just put into it, uh, I think that I was running it real close to being empty. So we're gonna head to the shop today. We're gonna put some stickers on the DOT. Sorry, we're gonna put some DOT stickers on it. This stuff here. Should be all right. Lots of cool stuff happening lately. Uh, before the video starts, if you guys wanted to support, it's free, subscribe, do that. I'll never charge you guys to watch the channel, always. So, you know, show some support and subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Let's go to the shop and let's start working. Let's get this day, uh, let's get this day rolling, baby. Yeah! I gotta grab a heater and I just figured now that I'm here, I might as well throw some salt down with the salt spreader that I have it. Yeah, that's her. Sure that's what I was told was 140. 140. Not 140. 140. How much? 140. 140. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh okay. Sweet. I can set on this. Okay, I had no idea it did that. I can set on this how many foot pounds I'm torquing it to. That is insane. I guess I didn't bring a torque wrench. I was just gonna, I was just gonna guess. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna go back to the yard and torque it, but that's awesome. Cool, sweet. So I found this little tool that Joe had and uh, it's super handy. That. Works awesome. So I got everything uh, done here. I got all the DOT sticker on, um, and then I ended up painting uh, the front here. I painted the front piece here. I painted the top of that just to clean it up a bit. And then we got these done. These turned out, these really turned out awesome. I'm super happy with how they turned out. It's about 3.30 the day before the storm, about the same as last week. And uh, now the flakes are starting to come down here. Big, wet snowflakes. Good morning, we're back here at the storage. Uh, they said we were gonna get over a foot. We didn't end up getting over a foot. Uh, we got maybe about 10 centimeters, a little over 10 centimeters, but the bad thing about this stuff is this. Look at this. 
Well, I guess good things if you're into building snowmen and shit like that. Uh, but I'm not into building snowmans at four in the morning. Uh, it's actually four, 10 after four. Um, yeah, she's really wet and heavy, so it's gonna be really hard to push. It's gonna be pretty good. So let's go start the machines, get them warmed up, and uh, drink some more coffee. It was plugged in, super warm, you know, so that's why you just fire it up. We've got probably the stickiest, heaviest snow of uh, 2020 so far, and we're gonna clean it up, but we need some more coffee first. And uh, it's a beautiful morning here, and I'm just blessed to share this with you guys, and I'm just blessed to be up. Okay, enough of that shit. I'm freaking tired, bro. Oh, I see lights, here's Brad. All right, I don't know if Brad got it on his camera, but I just helped the tractor just got nutted in the ditch. Like it just, he was a snowblow tractor and it just went right into the ditch. Anyways, we're gonna keep plowing out here and getting her done. Okay, so it's still snowing. It's not amounting to much. I called for salt, so hopefully he comes and then it'll melt off this stuff because it's supposed to be two degrees today, which is nice. Um, but I'm gonna throw some salt down here. And uh, I wanted to remind everybody about the giveaway, the Carhartt giveaway. It will be, the stuff is currently being prepped. Um, so announcement video will most likely be near the end of this week. If you aren't, uh, sure about what I'm talking about I'm talking uh, I'm giving away a bunch of Carhartt gear um, with our logo on it and our logo is not massive on it it's just a nice little crest in the corner of it so it doesn't completely ruin the shirt I want to make sure everyone knows to get in the giveaway what you got to do is subscribe and I'm choosing some uh, I think I think I'm gonna choose 10 people which is actually a lot so there's a good chance that you might win something so subscribe end of this week I'll probably be announcing the winners but I'll keep you guys all updated on my Instagram, at KBDC2000, so make sure to check in there a bunch. But Crash that, lost the propeller, no big deal. If you're not crashing the drones, you're not getting the shot, baby. You keep warm. <laughs> we're throwing down some salt here, and then we're wrapping up, and we're going to be done. So I'll finish this up, and I'll catch back with you guys in a bit. We're going to plug in the machines, wrap her up. That went fantastic. We're gonna get it salted. I just spoke to the salting guy. Perfect. All right, figured I'd bring you guys back here and uh, show you guys doing my own laneway. I don't normally do that, but uh, it's like a kind of deeper, heavy snow and it's still going. So let's set the time lapse up and we can do that.
sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust you. I talked to a shorty, she bagging the bugging. And I'ma need all of my dollars on coping, so hand me the money, I divvy the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune on flipping the bribe. I can't be mixy when iffy the bribe. And 40 on 50 is really the time. Why is you roll on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kick to the side. I don't know if you bitches are thinking I'm blind. All of my dollars on coping, so hand me the money. All of my dollars on coping. All of my dollars on coping, so hand me the money. All of my dollars on coping. We're headed down to a job just down in uh, another one town over. Being a septic, we don't normally do septics in the winter time, but we're keeping things busy. And uh, it's one of the goals for me, at least, in terms of uh, growing the business and doing that side of things, which I don't speak about a lot on this channel. Uh, because, you know, normally the videos are me just, you know, being my goofy self and stuff like that. But there is a serious side to business and everything like that that I will talk about if you guys are interested in another video. We got Corey coming in. We got the guys coming in. I'm going to run the shovel this morning because Al, he's rented out in the back hole going down to another job that we have on the go right now with another company. Okay, we made it down here to site. It's a new home build. It's a new septic that we're putting in. Uh, 170, like I said, got floored here. I'm going to fire it up and uh, warm it up. It's slippy up here. All right, well, while that uh, 170 is warming up, what I gotta start doing is we need access into here. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pull all the snow back from this whole location, all the way back into our uh, access in the backyard. So that's what we're gonna get started on here. Let's get her done. Uh, super warm in here this morning but we're just digging away here as you guys are watching time lapses and slow mos and all that good stuff we uh, have to create this access into here so that the uh, dump truck and all our material the tank and all our stuff like that can actually find a way into here all right pipes here tanks here and uh, now we're just figuring out where the t everything's going. I got all this cleared, and then I started pulling back a bit where I think the, the tank is gonna go, but I'm not sure. Good Corey. Hey Corey, it's hard to read those when they're upside down, you dumbass. <laughs> yeah! Oh God. Slow mo right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get it. Brad's got the dummy end. <laughs> How do you think this is going to work, buddy? I think it's going to work awesome. Just keep hammering. It's good. My thoughts have never been clearer. What you doing to me now? They 
right, now we're going to lift this thing out of here, the tank. You guys are just all hooking it up. Then I'll lift her out. Straight broke. Straight broke? No. You just have to. It was looped into the ice. You knew. It is my 198th day on the job. Frickin' brat. You're clear, bro. It's hard, hard to find good help these oh, days. You get a guy out of the office and it's just, it's just more work than what it's worth. Fuck office, guys. Yeah, so we're just kind of summarizing everything. So what? We got septic, we um, excavated the entire bed area. Okay. Because the, yeah, the frost was taking out an unexpected amount, which is no big deal. We'll import sand fill. It's super cheap. Cool. Just ate some food, ready to rock. Another load sitting here waiting for us to get spread out. Al's, uh, he's still unloading down another job. Then he's going to come and relieve me, and then I can go and do my stuff. We'll get this load uh, flattened out and just keep hammering. Okay, so me and Corey were just talking here and uh, basically the rest of the day just importing uh, 12 loads, 12 loads, right? 12 loads, definitely. Yeah, which isn't gonna get in today because uh, it's like over an hour long trip for uh, for the material to get here. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> so essentially, uh, I'm gonna head back now and uh, like I said, they're just hauling a material for the rest of the day. We ended up getting the tank in. It's all good, it's all level. It's back filled with this uh, sand fill around it. Nice and clean material. Um, no rocks or anything like that up against it. I started to uh, mess around with this side slope over here just to, you know, kind of go the extra mile. It's not definitely something that's a necessity when you're doing a job like this, but it's a necessity for Kenway Construction because I want to always, you know, do quality work and leave a job site that doesn't look like a bomb completely just exploded in here. I want it to look like a, like Corey just said, a kind of controlled mess. What was the word you used? Organized. An organized, organized, organized mess. Everything is done intentionally. Exactly. So I'm going to head back to the office, probably put this footage in here. Oh, by the way, I stepped on a bunch of nails today. So if I die of tetanus, subscribe. How was that for a video? Man, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with all this footage. And what I ended up doing was what you guys just watched, piling it all together. And I want you guys to give me your honest opinion about putting all that stuff into one video rather than it just being a plowing video or just being me working in the shop. I kind of like the idea of filming for three or four days and then taking that footage and putting that into one video because there's a lot going on and whether you're, maybe you don't like one part, you like the other part. Regardless, I thought that it was pretty cool uh, and then I just realized here now that I'm finishing up that I never ended it for you guys. So I want to thank you guys and like I said, Head over to the Instagram to uh, stay tuned for the giveaway. Uh, I know in here I said it near the end of the week, but those uh, the samples stuff that I sent up to you, those are the mock-ups. It's all done. They're being currently made right now. She said they're a week and a half out. I will be choosing the winners sooner than that so you guys know and I can get all your shipping information. 
So thank you guys for tuning in on another episode of this beautiful channel that I call Ken White Construction, whatever it is. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Always, it means the world to me. Thank you guys so much. I've been having a blast lately doing it and uh, it seems that things are just getting more and more fun as we get going. So thank you guys for watching this long video. I appreciate it and we'll catch you on the next one. And no, I did forget about you guys, the true patrons of the channel that watch the entire videos to the very end, which is right now. And if you are one of those true patriots, I'm gonna do something a little different today. I want you guys to comment down below, work harder. Work harder is something that I have tattooed on my arm. Work harder is a something that I tell myself every single day and I want you guys to tell yourselves every single day to continuing to work harder because if you work hard at something, the results are always going to be positive and always going to be great. So if you guys watch the entire video to the very end, I want you guys to comment down below, work harder. I appreciate you guys, always work harder and we'll catch you on the next one. And if anybody's still watching, who would like an office tour? Maybe I should do an office tour video. Tell you guys about the lion. Okay, bye.